Pitkin's Wake has been called the most intricate artistic creation in human history. It is constructed in portmanteau and polyglot words so that when read aloud, there is phonetically an English sounding word, but each syllable may have a different meaning in any of the 72 languages that Joyce drew upon to create the book. Each syllable of a word may have different meanings in different languages. So say san means without in Latin, but has a totally different meaning in Quechua. And so every syllable may have many different interpretations in different languages. And all of these variations can be strung together to extract entire paragraphs from a single sentence, giving the prose a holographic nature. To add to this language of concrete symbolism, the book is littered with historical, Kabbalistic, Masonic, and other references that add layers of meaning to the work. Double meanings abound. Even the title Finnegan is a reference to the plight of the main character, Finn again, who has either awoken from the dead, or a nap, or a drunken stupor, or has been reincarnated, or may even be symbolic of the changing of the gods of the new Aeon. The book begins and ends in the middle of the same word, creating a circular plot that implies the Ouroboros, the serpent with his tail in his mouth, and together with the four layers of subplots, makes four concentric circles, an important occult symbol representing the forces of the universe, from the four elements to the four fundamental forces of physics to the four directions and so on. This book is not read so much as it is deciphered, almost exclusively by intellectuals, using entire skeleton key books written by giants of the intellect, such as the Harvard mythologist Joseph Campbell, to assist them over their entire lifetime as they chew away at the book. Here is an example of a thunder word, variations of which punctuate the book throughout the story. And that's your first thunder word. Happy practicing. The peculiarities of Joyce's style result from his attempts to convey this vision by creating holographic prose. Blake asserted he could see infinity as a grain of sand, but Joyce tried to show it to us. 